Hey, what's going on YouTube? How would you like Cody with the best built, fully loaded for free movies, TV shows, sports, everything else? Not only will I show you how to always have the newest version of Cody and your Fire Stick, always up to date, but with this method, you're also gonna get access to my unlinked store that's loaded with over 60 applications that work just as good as Cody, or sometimes even better than Cody, depending what you're trying to watch. But we're here for Cody, and I'm gonna show you how to do this very quick, under 10 minutes, let's get into it and let's get Cody fully loaded with the best build on our Fire Stick. So to do that, simply just on your Fire Stick, the first step you have to do is go to settings and from here, go to my Fire TV or my device, click inside of that. You see I have developer options. In your instance, you might have to enable developer options. To do that, simply click on about and you'll see your device name. For me, it says Fire TV. You're gonna click on your device name about eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It says no need, you're already a developer, but if you're doing this for the first time, it'll say, now you are a developer. Now, when you click one back on your Fire Stick remote, you see that we have developer options on now, okay? So that's great, click one more back, and one more back, and one more back to get to the main menu. Now, once we're at the main menu, we simply have to go to find, go to search, and in the search thing, you can use the Alexa remote and say it, or you can type it in. Downloader. We want to search for an application down, that's called Downloader. Okay, orange, white icon, just like that. Let's click on Downloader. When we click on it, we're going to download the Downloader application. Now, very important, let's not open it up yet. So even though it's installed and we can open it up now, we're not going to open it. We're going to hit the Home button. There's a couple of things that we still need to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to settings after installing Downloader, and we're gonna go to My Fire TV or My Device. We're gonna click inside, and in here you'll see that we have developer options now. We're gonna click inside of developer options. We're gonna click install unknown apps, and we're gonna switch the Downloader to the on position just like that, okay? Now once we do that, we're gonna hit once, twice, three, four, five times back and there's a next vital step we're going to take now okay so we're going to go to find and we're going to go to search we're going to search for another application that's going to allow us to load Cody this application we'll have to type it in it's called IP vanish okay IP vanish just like that just type along exactly what I'm doing here IP vanish just like that once we type in IP vanish all we have to do is hit on that IP vanish search term You'll see an icon that's gray, black, green, and white. Click on that icon and click to download IP Vanish. Now, the reason for IP Vanish is that internet service providers have been blocking the DIGS repository build. They've been blocking the download. The download might go to 5%, 10%, disconnect. Um, you might not be even able to get into the unlink to get the newest version of Kodi all the time. All that is being blocked with the internet service providers blocks to get around those block blocks. Uh, we need to install IPVanish VPN. So here's IPVanish, we're gonna open it up and you'll notice there's a login and password to log into IPVanish with the login button. Now, to get your own account, all you have to do is scan this barcode here or go to this bit.ly link, also in the pinned comment and description. Uh, right now, through my, my affiliate link, it's 82% off, it's gonna cost you $2 and change per month. It's like a coffee at Starbucks per month or less. I'm using this on many Fire Sticks in my house. You can use this on Android tablets, smart TVs, iPhones, phones, you know, you name it, PCs, uh, Fire Sticks, Android boxes, on TV boxes, all across the board. One account will get you covered. This will unlock full access to the unlinked application. It will allow to you to install the Kodi build, allow you to connect to the necessary servers to get the build, and also give you more content, more links for pay-per-view, sports, and any other content that might have been blocked by your internet service provider. So if you want to take care of that, you can pause the video, you can scan this with your phone, or you can go to this link here, or in the pinned comment description is a clickable link. Once you're on that landing page, sign up for your account, put in your email address, create your password, and then sign up. Once you sign up, you'll get an email from them, verify your email account, and then log in with your email and password, press the login button. I'm gonna log into mine, and I'll show you how to set up this VPN to work exactly together in conjunction with Cody. So I'm gonna log in, and then you would log in on your end as well once you get your account from here, and then I'll show you step-by-step step to set this up for Cody, okay? And all the other apps.
Once you successfully log in with your account, all you have to do is go to the gear icon for this setup. Make sure Connect on Android Startup is to the on position. Click on, click back. Once that's done, go to location, click into location, go to countries. And from the countries, you want to scroll all the way to United States. So let's go to United States here. Okay. Once you're in United States, simply click on United States. Say favorite United States. It's going to put a yellow star next to it. Click on United States again and say connect to United States. Now, this is going to come up with a pop-up like this. Press the OK button. And what's going to happen is going to connect to the United States server. There we are, we're fully connected. And now we can proceed to the next step. So if you haven't got that, scan this barcode here. That's going to give you full access. 82% uh, off right now through my affiliate link. Works on all devices. One account will keep you covered all across all your devices. And it will get you so much more content in Kodi, okay? So once you do that, simply press the home button. We're now fully protected. Now, very simple step now. You've got to go to downloader, just open it up. And inside of downloader, you're just going to press the OK button. Um, and inside of here, all you have to do is we're just going to go up here, click into this box and put in the following URL. So we're going to put it on linked. dot link <clears throat> just like that no HTTP nothing like that and we're just gonna press the go button unlink dot link now when we do that it's just gonna say connecting and you're gonna see a website and on this website you see I have a mouse cursor it's a red dot you can scroll down until you see download APK Android button okay and you can click on that Okay, right below you'll see a direct link as well that you can click, but let's click on this, makes things much easier. When you click on that, a pop-up will pop up automatically and it'll start installing on Linked. Once you do that, press the Install button and press the Done button, very important. We're not gonna open it up yet, we're just gonna press the Done button, okay? Let's press the Done button, let's press Delete and Delete to delete the actual installation files. Very simple and straightforward. Now, once we're done that, we can just hit the Home button and you'll see our links installed, but we're not going to start it up yet. We're going to go to settings and we're going to go to my Fire TV or my device. I'm going to go to developer options and we're going to click on install unknown apps. And we're going to turn the unlink to the on position now. Now, once you do that five times back, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now we can safely start up unlinked by clicking on it. And what you're going to do, you're going to press the new library here. Okay, this is going to start blinking here. You can click inside of that and you can simply put in lowercase fire stick. This is the code that's going to get you to get Kodi and many other applications as well. So fire stick, lowercase. And when you do that, press the next button. Now a welcome screen is going to pop out. It's blurred out on my screen right now, but at home you'll see it very clearly. This, when you're doing this on your Fire Stick, this will give you the best apps for movies, TV shows. I update this list every two weeks. The most comprehensive update. It's going to give you the best update, the best information. So make sure you take a picture of this and save it on your phone. This will get you going and get you set up with any other apps besides Kodi that you might want to use. Okay. We're not going to press the enter button. We're simply going to hit backwards, back arrow, and back arrow again to get out of unlinked. Now, all we have to do is just restart the unlinked application again by clicking on it. And you're going to see these things are going to pop up here. So let's click on the new tech apps folder. And that's going to pop up all our applications here. Okay. Now, we just have to scroll down to the Kodi section. Okay. So we're going to scroll through all the apps and we're going to go and reach the Kodi section. Okay. And we're going to get right now, the newest version is always going to be identified by saying newest Kodi. Okay, so depending when you're watching this video, the newest version will be there under the Kodi category. Remember, you can scroll up and down, left to right to get many other applications that were listed on that list. Okay, um, so that's available as well. Okay, so once you see Kodi here, all you have to do is click on Kodi. I'm going to press the download button. Now, what's going to happen is going to start downloading Kodi and getting our newest version of Kodi. And I have my VPN on, and this is a large download. As you can see, it's about 67 megabytes. And even with my VPN on, I'm getting really good speeds as well. Uh, you could see it's already downloaded 60% throughout the way. And when it downloads and it finishes, it's going to pop up and ask us if we want to install it. So this pop-up should come up in less than a second here now. 
and you'll see the same thing. You can press install app and from here, all you have to do is press the install button and that's going to install our Kodi application. Now for this one, uh, now when it installs, feel free to scroll up and down left to right to get other apps. Uh, for this one, very straightforward. All we have to do is press the home button now, get out of unlinked. And remember, you can come back to unlinked at any time. And now we should see our Kodi installed now. So if we go to apps and games or it pops up here on our main bar, we can click on it. And when it comes up here, press the continue button and press the allow button. It's going to come up and prepare Kodi for our first run, but there's going to be absolutely nothing inside of Kodi. But I'll show you how to put the best build on here. So with our VPN on, this should work now. Uh, it's going to come up with this screen. All we have to do now is go to the gear icon and press the gear icon. We're going to go to file manager. From here, we're going to scroll down to add source. Click inside of this little non box that's already highlighted for you and put in the following URL. So we're going to put in HTTP. Okay. S and put this exactly how you see it here, how I'm doing it. Now we got to get a call and hit the up arrow here. Okay. To change to a call in. Now press on it again to disable that and put forward dash forward dash. And we're going to put tiny. URL.com forward dash digs one, two, three, just exactly like you see it on my screen. D I G G Z one, two, three, exactly like that. Once you put that in, all you have to do is simply press the OK button here. It's going to fill it in like that. Press the OK button on that. And that's going to add the digs repository. Now that's successfully added, click the back arrow on your fire stick. Click the back arrow again to take us to the main menu. Simply scroll down to add ons. Now click inside of add ons. Now you'll see a little Dropbox folder right there. Click on that package installer at the top. Say install from zip file. Go to settings and flick that to the on position, the switch like this. Say yes. That will flick it on. Click the back arrow once and press install from zip file again. Go to the DIGS repository by clicking on it and install the zip file that you see in this menu. Now, this should take about two or three seconds to install. Uh, it will look like nothing is going on, but then you'll see DIGS repository has been installed. Click one up from this add on installer that we went into right here, one above, and click on DIGS repository. And once you're here now, go to program add-ons right here, click on it. And highlight Chef Omega Wizard here. Should be at the top, green right now, and press the install button. Now scroll over to the OK button and click on it. And that's going to download and install the digs repository without me even pressing anything on my fire stick. It's going to do a couple of things in the background and we should get a pop-up soon asking us if we would like to install the digs build. So it might look like nothing is occurring. It says installing zero. It might look like it's stuck, but it's actually doing things and it's actually installing uh, the appropriate tools and things to install the build. Uh, just any minute you'll see the screen will flicker and then any minute it should just pop up with a pop-up when it's done. Uh, It'll be installed and without me touching anything on my fire stick, it'll clear some packages and you'll see a pop up will come up. Now, very important, just hit the back arrow once, press it once. Okay. Now, without me pressing nothing, a pop up came up and it says, This current low build installed, would you like to install one? Let's press yes on this pop up. Okay. And you'll see a couple of builds. Now, the one we want to get is the Big Xeon Free right here. Click on the Dig Xeon Free and press the Continue button. Now, what's going to happen? The build will start to download. When it's finished downloading, it'll extract and it'll be ready to go. You can see with my VPN on, I'm still getting incredible speeds. If you do get errors or it stops, make sure that your IP Vanish is turned on. Double check if you have those errors, okay? Once the build downloads and extracts, you'll get a message saying Force Close Cody. You're going to press OK. It's going to throw you out of Cody. Now you can go back into Kodi and you'll see it's fully loaded. You got all the stuff, all the add-ons for live TV, movies, and all that stuff. 
Now, when I go in here, you'll see that my VPN was on for the entire process. It took me around under 10 minutes to install this. I've been talking a lot in this video that probably took another four or five minutes. So we've probably done this around five minutes to get it all done. That's how quick we did it, okay? Uh, now, this was all done with a VPN, and you can go back to my online store at any time to get more apps besides Cody. There are some great apps for free movies, free TV shows, like Flix Vision is an amazing one, Ocean Streams, OnStream, incredible applications, just as good as Cody, just as good as Netflix for sports, all that other content as well. Play around in my store and feel free to explore it. Anyways, we got Cody done. We fully loaded it. We've installed it. Make sure you get protected with the VPN. If you haven't done that, that's going to give you more content, more links, more access to things, and full access to Unlinked and all the updates from Cody. If you haven't done that, scan that barcode here or go to this bit link. Also in the pinned comment description, it's going to keep you protected, going to keep you anonymous when streaming. And you're not going to get any warnings from your internet service providers or anything like that. You're going to get full protection with a VPN. So right now I have 82% off with my affiliates right here. This is the only link you're going to get 82% off with and you're going to be fully protected. So get set up if you haven't. It's going to keep you safe. Okay. So that's pretty much that's uh, how I load Cody. That's how I load and fully load it. And uh, I'm going to be signing off here. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, please. Uh, one thing I ask you for, some people have been knocking off my content from my unlinked store and taking on my other applications and things like that without giving me any credit. So I'm thinking of putting a four digit pin on my unlinked store that I showed you. I haven't done it yet, but I might do it in the future. If I do do it in the future and I lock my store, I'll give you the four digit pin to all the people that reply in the comments. I don't ask for money. I don't ask for don donations. Just drop a comment below. Say a simple hi. How are you? What city and town you're from? You represent. Perhaps tell me if Cody worked, if it hasn't worked, what's your favorite sports team? Any comment will do, and then I'll auto automatically reply with a four digit pin if I do end up putting it in the future. That's pretty much it. Also, follow me on X. Check the description. Relevant links on X are there. Uh, that's pretty much it. And that wraps up my Cody install. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here for all the support. Have a wonderful, beautiful day. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And once you hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell icon. That's going to keep you notified. When a new version of Cody comes out, you're going to get a notification on YouTube. And I'll guide you through the steps how to install the new version. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you all in the next video. Have a blessed, wonderful, beautiful day. Take care.